Well, in a sick twist of irony, a director, one director on Law & Order who directed at least 30 episodes, he's been charged with and arrested in Westchester with two counts, Jose, of child pornography. His name is Jace Alexander, not to be confused with Jason Alexander, the Seinfeld actor. Now, this is breaking news that we're bringing to you, and a lot's going on with this case. Uh, apparently, he was charged with having these on his hard drive on July the 24th. An investigator from Westchester County's DA office downloaded the child pornography from that IP address belonging to this man, and um, he's been posted. He has posted $10,000 for bail, um, expected in court on November 19th. I don't know how you couldn't argue, though, that his job, especially SVU, if he was a part of Special Victims Unit, they deal with child pornography. I, I love SVU. I watch it. I love Olivia Benson. I can't imagine. You know, you could argue that wasn't this child porn for an episode. Of, I don't know. I mean, it's, it was on his hard drive, apparently, but it looks like that would be a, a good argument to make. Yeah, I mean, it's surprising to me how prevalent this this issue is in Hollywood. We've heard it from... How many perverts are in Hollywood is surprising you to know, you? Not too long ago. Five years ago, at the most, Corey Feldman came out. He gave an interview. Everybody you know, thought of the interview like he was a burnout actor. Mm -hmm. But I remember watching it, and I remember him saying, you guys will see how prevalent this is in the future. He said he was surrounded by pedophiles, and he was flanked from pedophiles yeah. on every side of him, which is so disgusting, and just like, I, I don't even want but to wrap might, my brain around the, it. There's no rules, there's a lot of money, you can do whatever you want, you get treated, especially as a Have director. Have sex with a child, and you know, force that You get into, this, into this mindset that you can do whatever you want, but you clearly can't, and I'm glad that this guy is behind bars now. Mm -hmm. uh, well, he actually is not, because he got, he posted, he bail. posted bail. Imagine, you can get, charge and, and find porn, in, child porn in your hard drive, and with 10 grand, if you have them, you can walk away. Well, he's been charged with one count of promoting a sexual perform performance of a child and one count of possessing an obscene sexual performance. So two counts. He faces up to seven years in prison for these two counts. You know, though, where there's smoke, there tends to be fire. And I'm doubting very seriously that this is, is the only thing. thing. Yeah. yeah, especially because the way he got discovered, this this DA w was doing a uncover uh, operation. He downloaded the child pornography from this IP. It turned out to be they went, they get the warrant, they went through the computers, the hard drives they needed to use forensic teams because he already erased a lot of the information and they had to recoup it. But it, it's sad to see that these cases are still happening, and especially that you can walk away with 10 grand out right. of jail after you are proven guilty. Just to give you a brief background of who this man is, uh, Jace Alexander, Jason Alexander, he goes by Jace. Uh, he was a producer on Law & Order, several episodes of Rescue Me, The Blacklist, The Practice, most recently Co-op. He's also a second VP for the Directors Guild of America. This is no small fish we're talking about here, and just another just another alleged perv and the long list of pervs that we will continue to be talking about because this is such a pervasive issue that never seems to die. Anyway, we'd love to know what you think about this man, about what he's been accused of and who he is. Does this surprise you at all? Or is this, like my colleague said, just a pervasive issue, so systemic here that it's not even surprising anymore? Log on, post those comments below about this story. Where you're at, be sure to check out the rest of our channel and, of course, subscribe to the LibTV2 for more.